Hey you all, Carpetbagger here coming to you live from the central region of Florida. Had a, had a, had a fun time here in Florida, my, my time here in Florida starting to wind down. Had a, had a great time going to the parks, experiencing uh, Disney World as well as taking a trip over to uh, Universal. But uh, today, I think we're going to do some uh, Florida roadside attractions. Adam's going to come over here. I'm uh, near my hotel right now. He's going to come pick me up, and we're going to head over there and uh, and do some do some uh, local roadside attractions. And uh, of course, like if you if you guys are not familiar with Adam, please please go uh, subscribe or, or at least check his channel out. Um, you know, when I was very early in getting this channel started, Adam did quite a bit to help kind of teach me the ropes, you know, encouraging me along the way. Um, met, when I met Adam, I did not even make videos yet. So, and, and, and I had, uh, I was making a photo blog with a B and, um, you know, taking, doing roadside attractions, doing a lot of the same similar content now, but taking photos and posting them online in a, in a, with a blog, a written form. and. Finding Adam video, Adam's videos and meeting Adam and watching Adam do what he does kind of gave me the concept of how, how to turn my blog with a B into a blog into a vlog with a V. So I, I, I just you know Adam's been a great friend. Learned a lot from him. Kind of really really helped uh, this channel. Definitely in the beginning um, helped give me a lot of exposure, including me in his videos. Encouraged a lot of his viewers. To, uh, to come over to my channel. And I'm sure that there's still quite a large uh, crossover of people who watch both channels or some people that may have found Adam through my videos. But yeah, just, uh, just some good, good times. Had not had a, had a chance to, uh, to hang out with him uh, a whole lot in the last two years. We both travel so much, sometimes it's hard to get our schedules together. So I'm happy that we got uh, a chance to hang out, to visit, uh, visit the parks together and today to do some uh, roadside attractions. Because tomorrow, tomorrow is IAPA. It is the uh, theme park and amusement park trade show. And it's one of my favorite events of the year. You know, where all the, the, the vendors, roller coaster companies, animatronic companies come out and show their wares, to show the best things that they have coming, and I'm always excited and always honored to be able to go there and, uh, and feature that the year. One of my favorite events of the year. Then after that, after I do, as after I do IAPA, that's when I need to start heading north um, because we got to get ready. Got got some some family things to do for for Thanksgiving. We got uh, Jen has is going to a friend's wedding. We got all that busy stuff to do, and then and then we need to move Jen. We got to get Jen stuff from New York to North Carolina and uh, to our home in the mountains. So uh, a lot coming up, but uh, we're gonna have some fun today. So please follow me. All right, is this Erlo Bronson Highway? We're heading down right now. The giant, world's largest orange over there. And uh, where, are we, where are we going today, Adam? We're going to Claremont. We're being a friend up there in the, that general area. Awesome. I can't wait to see who it Citrus is. Citrus Tower. Citrus Tower. President Museum. President Museum. And maybe a monster truck. Oh, mon no, nothing, <laughs> nothing caps off a day like a monster We're drive truck. drive and do a tour of the President Museum in a monster truck. Awesome. We stopped off in Claremont, Florida. Gonna start off with a classic roadside attraction here in Claremont, the Citrus Tower. This was originally designed to for people to view all the citrus farms in the area. Sadly, now there's no citrus farms, but you can still go up and get a, uh, a nice view. We enter the Citrus Tower down here through the coffee shop at the base. And uh, yeah, it looks like they've expanded Quite a bit in here since the last time. It's a fun photo op over here. You can pose uh, next to the citrus tower, actually the next to the, the top of it, so you can uh, see what it would look like if you were floating in the air next to the tippy top of the citrus tower. Yeah. 
Now I have my annual pass to uh, Disney World. Maybe I should add an annual pass to the Citrus Tower to my uh, portfolio. Looking at some of the uh, merchandise here for the Citrus Tower. Get a Citrus tow Tower towel right there. Got uh, some mugs. Looking for a pin or maybe even a little tiny Citrus Tower to take home. Yes, these are magnets there. That's kind of fun. Oh, look at those really cool old school postcards. Love those. So on the way here, we stopped and picked up Micah from yes, World did. of Micah. And you've been here quite a few times, right? To the old Citrus yeah, Tower. this is like my third or fourth time, I believe. Yeah. Awesome. Now we're just looking here at the, uh, the case with some old trinkets. Like a 50s pamphlet there. Oh yeah, I love the old brochures. And there's the packing house bag. This yeah, is a packing house. Yeah, you're telling me this used to be a packing house? Yeah. I'm not, I don't know if it was in the main part here or on one of the side buildings. But it was associated with but like you would citrus come here, packing. you see the citrus buyer. It's like Orange World on 192. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You go and see the big orange and get your bag. <laughs> Awesome. Yeah. Souvenirs here are cool. I do love the the view master. The first person to go ever go up. Oh wow, that's the. That's what, the oh, first there's one. right there. That's she's order. the first person to ever go up. There, yeah. Apparently, there used to not be a roof on it. No, there wasn't. And I guess she's holding her skirt so it doesn't blow up over her head. Marilyn Monroe style. Oh wow. Yeah, this is interesting. I didn't realize this. This equipment here is a sound system for the uh, for the Citrus Tower. It. Um, I guess it used to play music. He has yeah. the old, old music. Uh, the bells. It would tell you this. Oh, look, they had First Noel, Joy of the World. They could play Christmas. The Amazing Sister Tower could play Christmas songs, apparently. Um, yeah. The Sound of Music theme song. Oh, wow. My favorite things. I wonder yeah, if that like just like blasted theme. these songs out to like in the local area. Up top, yeah. Yeah, it was like a carillon Star system. Star Spangled Banner. <laughs> so they can do like Fourth of July events. Oh yeah, I guess they have like like holiday holiday songs, so they can play stuff for different holidays. Here's uh, a pin map showing, you know, where people travel to to see the Citrus Tower. And look at this: people come from all over the world, all over Europe, from Japan, just to see the Citrus Tower. And I'd add uh, my pin here. There's no more pins. And I don't think I could actually fit a pin in right there. All right, I think we're getting ready to head up to the top. Have the uh, model of the Citrus Tower right there, but we're about to head up into the real thing. Now we have the elevator here. Of course, there's only one button on the elevator, and that is Did up. Did you push it? I think. Oh, no. Try pushing it again. Let's ride to the top. The Grand Tower Citrus Plaza. Is it open? Is it here? Is it gonna open? Oh, Let's try pushing the button again. Uh, uh, oh, uh. Why well, it's not opening? There it goes. Yeah, yeah, All yeah, right. Yeah, I remember this. A little tiny bit right here. <laughs> We're all in. Adam's with us. Hey. Which level are we going to? Uh. This is first, so we gotta get the two. There's a little history there, built oh, yeah. in 1955. For some reason in the picture, it's got a blue stripe. Oh, we gotta hit the, okay, yeah, we actually, actually gotta, gotta wanna reach in front of you. Push the button here. <laughs> it is 226 feet tall. Wow, 35 uh, miles. My five million pounds of concrete. It's a lot of concrete. But it was built in 55, man. So this is well over 50 some odd years. So Adam got some coffee in the, the coffee shop down there. Is it, I ended up getting some coffee. Is it orange flavored? Or it's just regular coffee. Just regular? Yeah. I asked if they had like a Christmas flavor and they said no. no. Not for just a regular coffee. Mm. They had a pumpkin spice, but they didn't have like a, a Christmassy. I had too much pumpkin spice already. Right. You're overloaded on pumpkin spice? Uh, too much during September and October. Me too. Me too. It's taking a while to get to the top. Yeah, that's why. Well, I mean, Adam, it's it's 226, <laughs> 226 feet tall. You can see 35 miles to the horizon, eight counties, and I can't read the rest of it. Here we oh. go. Oh, here it is. Oh, yeah, they added these photos in here, too. Like historical photos. Oh, man, yeah. Oh, okay, so it shows the it tower being constructed there. Oh, sorry. Oh, it is a little. There's someone up here, we're being obnoxious. 
it is a little a uh, little foggy today it's still uh still a nice view out there kind of shows us the distance to things we're in claremont um, it's about 55 miles to Wikiwachi Springs and 60 miles to the Gulf of Mexico. I don't think, at least not today, with the visibility the way it is, I don't think we can see uh, the Gulf of Mexico or Wikiwachi. What you can see down there is the uh, House of Presidents Presidential Wax Museum. I think we're going to head over there after we are, uh, after we're done at the Citrus Tower. They have the small brochures in here. And some interesting things, learning things about the Citrus Tower. Apparently they used to have ducks. Not the animal ducks, but the, the aquatic buses that would go in the water here. It could launch from the Citrus Tower. And you can see here there's like citrus trees all along the base. That was the, the original point, is to go up there and see all the citrus trees. But, uh, but um, now that's all gone. I guess there's that, that lake over there, that's where the where the ducks would take you. And Adam was pointing this out over here, where it said, see Florida from its highest point. I don't know if that's still the highest point in Florida. I'll have to check on that. But it says, nowhere in the world will you find more beautiful views. There's the, literally the most beautiful views in the entire world. Okay, so we have the penny drop. So you put the penny in and then you put Oh, okay, Adam's got Whoa. some pennies for us. You What's up? up, pennies, Mike? I'll just take a penny. A penny? I got, I got two. I okay. got three. So you put the penny in, and then you put your ear on the ear hole. Yep. And listen, go, go for it, Micah. All right. Go for it. Let's see if I'm doing this correctly. Ooh. Shh, quiet. You can hear it falling? I just realized how Did it hit the bottom yet? It just hit the bottom. <laughs> just hit the bottom? Yeah. What so, was that? I just realized how easily entertained the three <laughs> Oh, I love this. <laughs> okay, it's my turn. I'm up. I'm gonna do the uh, the penny hole here. It's hard to film and do a penny. We gotta put the line your ear up. <laughs> penny in there. And like going down, 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 down. You can hear it all the way up. Down, yeah. Down, 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 down. <laughs> I just don't know what you're doing. Though. That's pretty cool. I wonder where the pennies go. I wonder if it's like it's just a giant pile of pennies. I wonder if they're like no, like there's a basement here with eight million pennies in it. Like there's, they didn't like make a way to get them out. Just dive in like Scrooge McDuck. Yeah, like a Scrooge McDuck, like, like, uh, like, like chamber down there. You can toy in your body. Oh, I wanted to hear the pennies. You know what? I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go for another. I'm gonna go for another penny. Here and every every step of the way. <laughs> I love it. It stops. Anyone watching any of the three of our videos can't hear the penny. You don't think you can hear the? Adam says that people can't hear the penny. Can you guys hear the penny? I'm gonna. You know what? We're gonna make sure you hear the penny. So I'm gonna. I'm gonna put the penny there, and then I'm gonna. You guys hear that? It stopped. You guys heard that, right? Yeah, all these different signs that will point you into uh, what is that way. See this way actually to Cypress Gardens. It's a classic roadside attraction, but it's now known as Legoland. It's out this way. Yeah, I wish it was a little clearer today. Maybe we'd be able to see Legoland. And a bohemian glass blower. Oh yeah, that's cool. They're just pointing out there's a a, 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 look, is that like a walking trail? But Adam made like, like the Florida. state of Florida. Yes, yeah, the state and of Florida. The... And there's a little citrus tower in the middle. Yeah. And then there was a reptile arena. Jack yeah. Raymond's. If only I could, if I could travel back in time, the first thing I would do would be to go to the citrus tower. <laughs> the very first thing. The very first thing. <laughs> this way right. to Disney World, which is 50 miles. And you guys are telling me you can actually see the Disney fireworks. Well, I've never seen here. That, the, the barista downstairs, the cashier, set the Oh man, that would be super fun. I want to do that one night. I want to come up here and, and yeah, watch sure this. Yeah, clear. Yeah, yeah. I wouldn't come like a wouldn't come on a day like this. But if it was a clear, if it was a clear night, that would be that would be really fun. I think. Yeah. Actually, the ticket we have is good for all day. 
So you can have a map. How late are they open? Are they open in the evening? Six or till ten. Oh wow. Oh wow. I've never been up here at night. That'd be fun. All right, going down. We're gonna head down just like a penny falling from the top. Yes. <laughs> There's only two floors. One and two. But the second floor. You see our penny down there? I don't know, you have to close the door and it says, I think it's two. So there's only two floors, but in 200, reality, 226 feet tall. It would tall. be 20 floors, 22 floors. So it's 22. 22 stories, but only two floors. Hmm. I think the floor's 10 feet, more or less. That's what I think about. I don't know, we're closer than I thought. Because that's like the only little fan, and I'm like, I don't even know if that works. So I have to climb out, you have to shimmy up through that thing. My head could fit through that. That's about it. That's where I stop. <laughs> now it is starting to rain here just a little bit at the Citrus Tower. But we're going to walk over next door and check out another classic. Uh, Florida roadside attraction right here in Claremont. The House of Presidents actually got a view of it from the top of the Citrus Tower. It's an unconnected roadside attraction, but they just happen to be right next door from each other. Let's see the White House shaped building over here. But also next door, we got a little mini version of Mount Rushmore. The Florida version of Mount Rushmore here. And if you want to get even closer view of the Mount Rushmore, they have a, a viewfinder here in case you want to like actually see like inside the president, sort of focus up their nostrils. <laughs> I don't know, is there a good is there a good view from from there? There's a scene in the Truman. Uh, Mike, you're saying you actually can see? Can I see through there? Is there is there a Rushmore? No. I don't see anything. Nope. Doesn't work. Well, let's see if it. I think it's just a prop. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Look at the Here's prop. your problem right here. There it is. There's it's no. Missing. There's no hole on the <laughs> on the Here's other side. Your problem right there. Woo. All right, get ready to head in. Got a cool wax museum in there. They also have a replica of the White House. Came in here through the gift shop. Lots of fun stuff here. Oh, look at that patriotic Santa. Uncle, Uncle Sam and Santa kind of merged into one. Back here is the woodcarver shop. They, it's a, uh, they, I said they do have a miniature White House in here, and this is the creator of the miniature White House, John Zweifel. That's actually a wax rendition of him. I actually got a chance to meet him uh, the very first time I came out here. All right, we got the uh, the uh, characters unlimited George Bush. I think this is George Bush too. I think this is the George oh, he's W. Bush. Did he move his? Eyes? Oh, he oh. is. He's giving <laughs> he's giving a little shifty side eye there. But uh, let's feed him. Let's feed him a dollar here. See if we can get a move even a little more than that. This gentleman threw out the greatest first pitch in all of, in all of baseball history. Is that true? Oh yeah. <laughs> George W. reminds you, free people will set the course of history, and free people will keep the peace of the world. Your peace of the world sure does look mighty good. Now return to George W. and I will give you more words of wisdom. Did you get a card? They said that uh, George is out of fortune tickets, but he still talks, and I think the talking is is the more important uh, That's pretty cool. component. It's a dollar. There's a button here. I guess I guess we should push it. Did something start happening? Oh, what's happening? Oh, okay. The carousel there started moving. Yeah, some different presidential figures here in the gift shop. You got, uh, I guess that's Bill Clinton. And is this, is that? I think it's George W. Let's see. Oh, he can be either funny or inspirational. Let's try funny. Okay, let's try inspirational. Okay. He can, he's not in the mood to be funny or inspirational right now. <laughs> Okay, I think he probably does a little dance, but he's not feeling like dancing today. 
there is uh, Bill Clinton and Hillary. <laughs> Although I don't, I don't remember her wearing socks like this. Really? These presidents here with the giant heads. Looks kind of like almost like an early version of the Funko Pop. Oh, this is interesting. These little wooden dioramas here. I guess you turn the turn the crank here. Oh yeah, you see the news the news lady there. The guy operating the camera. It's a little diner scene back here. It's a New York oh, yeah. picture, and he recreated the scene. Some uh, presidential bobbleheads. I think that's another George W. I got Jackie Kennedy. A White House table setting here. And look at this. Old Honest Abe here. I think this used to be an animatronic. I think I remember this used to move. And I don't know if they have a, uh, a Joe Biden wax figure. But I guess they have this uh, cardboard cutout of him and Jill. As we head into the main museum, we start with who else? Mr. 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 Number One, George Washington, and here is a uh, here is a replica of the White House being constructed. And we actually have one of these red buttons here, where we can actually see some animated scenes of people, the construction workers, working. If you can see, see a little movement down there. As they're chopping wood, hammering things right there. Some of the early presidents over here. And uh, the most presidential man to never be president, Mr. Uh, Benjamin Franklin there. Looks like he's actually flying a kite. He's known for flying kites. Did a, did a few other important things too. John Quincy Adams has a very strong Mutton chop game. You can see all the different old timey presidents here. There's uh, Ulysses S. Grant there. You can see there's some of uh, some of the first ladies here. They don't have necessarily their own dedicated wax figures, but they have these mannequins dressed up like the first ladies. Back in here we see uh, Donald Trump and his wife Melania in cardboard cutout form. Yeah, look at all the presidents. Now, I can't necessarily name all the presidents by sight, but some of these are getting more familiar here. Got Teddy back there. There's Taft. Woodrow Wilson over his shoulder. And we got all their first ladies. Here in the front, see FDR up there giving a news conference. All the different uh, television stations. Wait, what's? I see CBS, NBC. What's MBS? BS, MBS. If you know what MBS is, leave a comment in the comment section. Got Mark Twain there. Not a president again, but uh, very, very, very richly steeped. In American history, we got a uh, little John Kennedy Jr. down there, one of the only children here in the Wax Museum. And then there's that Calvin Coolidge, Herbert Hoover up there. You can see uh, Richard Nixon, Gerald Ford there. And uh, Jimmy Carter, Jimmy Carter, and uh, Ronald Reagan back there. And some of our more modern presidents, and these 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 uh, first ladies actually uh, have wax figures. Well, you have Barbara Bush there, who's a mannequin but has the uh, Barbara Bush wig. But you have Bill Clinton and uh, Hillary Clinton there, and then uh, George W. Bush and uh, his wife, Laura. And over here, separated from, uh, from the herd, we have uh, JFK and uh, his wife, Jackie Kennedy there. But uh, don't look now, but lurking here in the back, Marilyn 
Monroe. Okay, that's yeah. However, oh, look at that. She's got a, a fan under her dress. Guess if uh, you flip that fan on, it would cause uh, a disaster with that dress. Here's a zoetrope. As we turn uh, turn the crank here and uh, can create. <laughs> The Zotros make a lot of noise. I don't know. Maybe, maybe <laughs> might want to go easy on that. Yeah, yeah, we're gonna. We don't want through the slots. You look through the slots, and it's okay to to like to crank it. Yep. <laughs> there we go. Oh yeah, I see the little guy going up and down the stairs. Oh, there we have another FDR over here. His. Uh, his beloved dog, Fala. And what were you saying the, the, the full name of Fala was? Murray, the outlaw of Fala Hill. Murray, the outlaw of Fala Hill. Is that good? Yeah, thanks. Oh, no, this is a fun photo op. You got the Oval Office there, but you can actually stick your face in it and look like you're a giant coming to eat the president. <laughs> Arr. I did the can same thing, me? yes. Arr. Where's the president? <laughs> I'm coming for the president. <laughs> Bring him to me. <laughs> No one will be safe until you bring me the president. <laughs> it's kind of terrifying. It's like nightmare fuel, Jacob. Nightmare fuel? <laughs> Sorry, didn't mean to scare you guys. Wow. We have o Obama over Obama here. And, and uh, we just saw his head move. Oh, Trump's uh, arms Is gonna... back and forth. Yep. Oh, oh, really? It only lasts See, I swear. I swear I saw him. There, there he goes. goes. The motor was made in China. He's alive. <laughs> He's alive. <laughs> <laughs> and there we have uh, Donald Trump, our uh, last president, and then our current president, uh, Joe Biden. I guess they do not have a wax figure to represent him, but there was the cardboard cutout in the in the lobby. Are you, are you trying to see how tall? Yeah. How tall you are compared to Trump? Yeah. Yeah, he's a big guy. He's about as big as Adam. What's that? He's about as big as Adam. About as big as Adam? Yeah, yeah, yeah I'd say. Same height, yeah. Yeah, saying that Lincoln was the only president taller Lincoln than... Lincoln uh, taller than, uh, than Donald? Yep, by an inch. But only one inch, though, so... Lincoln would just be, like, just a little bit taller. It's the Resolute desk here. Yeah, it says the buck. The buck stops here. And I guess we can uh, pose in uh, on, the, on the White House desk here. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I would like to... Just quickly apologize um, for saying something probably shouldn't have said um, over there at the photo op. I said I wanted to eat the president of the United States. Um, I want to make it clear I'm not any sort of carnivorous monster. I have no intention of, uh, of, 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 of gobbling up the president. I'm not, I, I, I promise. I was, it, was, it was a joke. I don't know if it landed or not, but I wanted to apologize in advance. Can yeah, I'm the president now. Yep. yep. How's it feel to sit back there? Oh, I would never want to ever be president. It sounds horrible. Yeah, you can see up here a little puppet box with some, uh, there's Pinocchio in there, some clowns. So this is super cool. This is uh, Tom Thumb's personal carriage. You're saying this was a gift for him and his wife? From Queen Victoria. Queen Victoria gave him this. Would it be? I wonder what would pull it. Obviously, not a full-size horse. A miniature pony. A miniature pony would pull. There's pictures down here. Oh, okay. There's uh. There's one right there. There's Tom Thumb and Lavinia. Both of them fit in there. Okay, yeah. There's Tom Thumb and his wife Lavinia with. I guess that's P.T. Barnum. There at their uh, at their wedding. And yeah, Queen Victoria gave them this very carriage to be uh, pulled around on. Abraham Lincoln invited them to the White House right after the wedding. Oh, so they went to the White House after the wedding? Mm -hmm. So yeah, he was like a major celebrity back then, Mr. Tom Thumb. General Tom. General Thumb, yeah, I was about to say. I forgot, I forgot his, military, his military rank. And over here we have kind of the focal point of the uh, House of Presidents, and that's this scale replica of the White House. We're here in the back where all the rooms are opened up, and you can peer inside. There's little secret service guards all around the perimeter. 
Yeah, look at this. All the little tiny pieces of furniture. This is what uh, John Zweifel, the uh, former owner of the museum, created. Uh, created this giant replica here. Look at the dining hall there. And then down there, oh yeah, it's like the press room, press office where they give uh, give press briefings. You can see the presidential limo pulling out in front. You get a peek here of the front front of the White House. Yeah, I've been to the White House a couple times. It's a shame you used to be able to get pretty close to the fence and get a photo, but now they've kind of got it pushed back where you can't see it very well. And another presidential limo heading out. You see the photographer over here next to the White House and there is a controversy on whether or not this is John Zweifel's wife or not. That uh, apparently at one point he did say this was a wax figure of his wife, but uh, apparently the, the, uh, the jury's still out on that. Oh, and they do have uh, another link in here. So they have all the presidents except Joe Biden, but they do have a Biden cutout. They have two Lincolns and two FDRs, and then a Ben Franklin and uh, Mark Twain thrown in for good measure. Oh yeah, and Marilyn Monroe, and a uh, and John Kennedy Jr. I think I, think I, I think I nailed all the figures there, and then the uh, the first ladies as well. Some of them are wax, some of them are just mannequins. Here's the world's smallest curiosities of Americana. Some very interesting stuff in this display. We have Jacqueline Kenny's smallest pearls. There's uh, the flags of the nations painted on a grain of wheat. Can you, can you see that down there? This is the, uh, the Lord's Prayer, engraved on the head of a pin. And uh, oh, smallest copy of the Declaration of Independence there. Yeah, some pretty, pretty fun stuff here. Oh, John F. Kennedy painted on the head of a pin. Stopped off here at the Showcase of Citrus, a uh, citrus-based roadside attraction established in 1989. Now this used to be on the main road, but they've actually relocated. I guess it's the same property, but they've relocated here onto uh, onto a side road with their their main uh, their main attraction here. Um, and it is raining. We were hoping to take a monster truck ride, but I don't know. You can see the rain coming down here. Of course, Showcase of Citrus is a Bigfoot preserve here, so you want to keep your eyes open for any possible Sasquatches. And I uh, got a broken down, uh, broken down citrus truck here. It's these guys here looking, looking under the hood. Oh my gosh, they have no faces. Little petting zoo here. That is a tiny horse. <laughs> That may be the smallest horse I've ever seen. You doing okay there, buddy? Little pig, little pig hanging out there in the pig house. You're so the tiny. Horse you've ever seen? I think so, and I think that might be the smallest donkey I've ever seen over there. That pig's that pig's pretty big though. This gorilla here is inviting me to sit in his hand. Let's see if it's not too wet there. I don't know. It's a little wet. Um, but I don't know. I got you. Got to sit in the gorilla's hand, right? <laughs> yeah, watch out for these donkeys here. It says. Use caution when feeding donkeys and pony may bite or wait a minute. No one said there was going to be farts here. Look back here. See, uh, it's a cabibara, the world's largest rodent back there, hanging out, just hanging out with, wait a minute, there's a cabibara hanging out with roosters. And believe it or not, I just noticed back in that animal house, 
There's a kangaroo back there. You see the kangaroo? The kangaroo's kind of hiding back there, eating some hay, but there is definitely a kangaroo in that house. The capybara is like looking at me really intense. And in this pen, we have uh, the Simpsons just hanging out there with the animals. And here's what they have at, uh, at the World of Citrus attraction. They have, uh, you pick citrus, so you can actually go and pick oranges out in the fields. There's the world's largest four by four monster trucks. And uh, I don't know if we can do that today, given, uh, given how that it's raining, how wet it is. Yeah, there's lots of stuff inside. You can buy some jerky, some fresh honey, fresh healthy juices and creamsicles. They have a couple different food trucks set up over here. Oh, we got Big Boy. Big Boy right there in the middle. Then stepping into a Florida Wonderland back here. Greeted by uh, one of the most famous Floridians, Ponce de Leon, discoverer of the Fountain of Youth. Here's some seminal natives. So got a cowboy and a horse. And I just noticed up here, we have uh, a bunch of vehicles hanging from the ceiling. Some little trucks, little soapbox derby style car, and a little weeder mobile. There's a fun little gator ride here. Just get in there, throw a coin in, and go for a ride on an old gator. A little elephant ride here as well. We got a pappy here, and this is a penny smashing, penny smashing pappy. Want to smash me a penny there, Pappy? Got an alligator on his shoulder. Yeah, we can pick the different. Uh, oh, I like this one. They have a so showcase of citrus, custom smashed penny. That's pretty fun. All right, gonna get Pappy. I'm gonna trade him a dollar for a penny. The dollar in there. Well, hi there. I'm hi Pappy, there. And welcome to Pappy's Pennies. <laughs> Now you go ahead and pick out a design. All right. And step We're back. Gonna pick the Those world of Pappy's citrus. Gonna crush and stamp a unique design in that penny right here for you. Go crush, ahead. Crush, crush and stamp design. it there for us. And there we go. It's a little hard to see because it's kind of a mucky. It was kind of a mucky penny, but uh, yeah, you can make the yeah you can make that out. You see the monster truck there. Oh, some local pro wrestling here. Oh, this looks like fun. This is beastly versus death row jethro oh, i like the i like the gimmicks here it's a chain match on black friday do a little bit of honey sampling here yeah there's orange blossom honey yes yeah, so that one's gonna be the sweetest of the three all right it's the orange blossom honey there mm. Mm, very tasty yeah that one's my favorite that's good yeah i just is that good micah I, whoa yeah yeah that one's the sweetest that's the good. sweet one yeah. <laughs> I had Holy cow. Oh, what you got there, Adam? Is that a Dole Whip? No, it's not a Dole Whip. They do have Dole Whips here, though. What's this that? It's just a frozen orange slushie. Is it good? It just tastes like, a, it's like orange. It's like a big thing of pulp. Big thing of pulp? Basically. Very, yeah. So they make that with like fresh oranges that they're like just like picked right over there? Yeah. yeah. It says, hi, my name is Diva. I love to talk, sing, and dance, but please be careful, I might bite. Would you bite me? Would you talk and sing and dance? Hey Diva! Hey Diva! How are you doing? You having a good day? Do you like to dance? Do you like to bite people? Hey! No? It's okay if you don't feel like dancing or singing or talking. I usually don't feel like dancing, singing, or talking either. Oh, look at this big sign here. Greetings from Florida. Got the uh, chipmunks up there for some reason as well. <laughs> and down there are the rare elusive jackalope and a uh, armadillo there doing sit-ups. Got the uh, that big old gator standing up. The classic uh, Florida alligator. And they don't just have a pappy, they have a Zoltar as well. And of course, we always got to give Zoltar his treasure and get that dollar in there. There we go. Come closer and listen to what Zoltar has to tell you. Dream as if you live forever. 
Live as if you die today. That's right. You must live your days as if they were your last. You got it. Because one day they will be. They will you know absolutely. I mean. Yes. So go on. Have fun and surrender more cash for more wisdom. I think one dollar's fine for today, dollars. Zoltar. Oh, we finally found Sasquatch. Looks like he's come here to steal some oranges. Oh, look at this. <laughs> giant giant gorilla here looks like it's actually a photo op if you can uh, squeeze in there and pose with the giant gorilla all right pile in here Woo! Just me and my buddies hanging out <laughs> inside a gorilla Woo! Oh, big foam gorilla oh, yeah. hey guys do you want to play with in their in their bone tray? In their bone tray. So, <laughs> are these real? So these are just real. These are all real bones. Yeah, it's real bones, dude. Why do they just have a pile of bones? People who ask questions. <laughs> this is where they end up. <laughs> oh my gosh! Like, what's this? Is this like? It's like a a hip of some sort. I don't know. Look at that. There's a jawbone. Leather face. My goodness. That looks like a face. That's a oh, that's a vertebrae. That's a vertebrae. Of what of what I'm not sure no. it's almost any type of jerky you could possibly imagine some alligator jerky regular like deer we have elk here oh ostrich remember getting these uh, tubes you go to a museum and you talk your dad into buying you a tube full of animals see this the sea life that's the aquatic tube there there's the pets, at dogs, cats, and hermit crabs in there. They even have a mermaid, a mermaid tube. Oh, this is fun. This is a semi-truck shaped like an alligator, and it's got alligators in the back. Man, I'd love to get an orange tree in my yard. I just don't think it would grow in the mountains of North Carolina. Otherwise, I'd buy this right now. Yeah, lots of interesting stuff. Up here in the rafters, got another big boy. I think you get characters. Oh, are these from Rugrats? Do you see some definite Rugrats over there? Who's this here with the gun? Is this is this Inspector Gadget, or is that or is that maybe Maxwell Smart? Okay, as we're coming back out, I see the uh, the kangaroo has come out of his kangaroo house. Hey, kangaroo! Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a kangaroo right there. Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy! Yeah, look! It's a kangaroo. You never know where you're gonna see a kangaroo at. You can see the massive great white shark hanging right there. You can see his, uh, he's missing his teeth. Oh, yeah, his teeth have all been. People would steal Jaws' of teeth. Jaws is the revenge they had on the boneyard. And people would just walk up and just take some of Jaws' teeth. Oh, so he's missing his teeth, but fortunately he has his black eyes. <laughs> like a doll's eyes. All right, since, so since the teeth have mostly been removed, I think it's pretty safe to stick my head in here. There we go. Look at me, a shark's balls. eating my head. Oh, jeez. Almost ate my hat there. So they actually are doing the, uh, the, the, the monster trucks today, the tours, but they, it's quite some time before their next tour. So uh, I think we'll have to save that for next time. Definitely we'll come back and ride uh, the monster trucks again, but uh, we have collectively made the, made the decision as a group that, uh, that uh, we're, gonna, we're gonna head out and not ride the uh, monster trucks today. So thank you for uh, coming along with me today. Got to hang out with some good friends and visit some uh, classic Florida roadside attractions here in the central Florida region. Uh, tomorrow is the big day. Tomorrow is IAPA, one of the one of the big days of the year for me. Going to the uh, theme park amusement park trade show here uh, in the Orlando area. Really looking forward to that. Something I look forward to all year long. And then after that. We gotta head north because 
the big move is coming, going up to get Jen to bring her stuff down to North Carolina and finally set up our home uh, together in the mountains of North Carolina. But uh, thank you guys so much. I really appreciate uh, people who watch these videos. I know there's so many videos out there. There's only so many hours in the day and, and I'm honored that anyone chooses to uh, to give my videos the time of day so thank you so much uh, if you do like these videos please subscribe i travel around the country I film roadside attractions amusement parks museums haunted houses other fun random stuff if uh you'd like to help support this channel in other ways consider contributing to patreon three dollars or more with your postcard once a month from me to you also uh selling enamel pins in the Etsy shop, doing personalized messages on Cameo. I actually got to do a few cameos right now. Um, if you're interested in any of that, check the description of the video. And of course, all those things help keep this train on the track, this boat in the water, and this dirigible in the air. Till next time, my friends. This one's in the bag. <laughs>